What's up guys, this is the Rosemary and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So the run-off happened last time, uh, since the Spanish took Morocco from under our noses, we have sailed back to the New World to then attack them and their allies. So we are um, taking Santa Domingo and we're also going to take Cuba, and we're probably going to do a bit more island hopping. Um, and we are also going to take... Uh, Michigan from Venice because they have also joined them. What we will probably do is actually I'll take Michigan I'll take Cuba and then try to see if I can actually make peace with because I don't want to spend all my time fighting in the Americas because that's kind of what this is all about. So it's tempting to actually try and make some sort of peace Okay, I think I might have to take take some provinces off of all of them. So if I, I'll take this from Venice and try and make peace and see if they'll go for it. Um, I will not make peace with Spain because I would like to cross the Atlantic and re-engage the Spanish. Um, but I would like to try something like maybe taking Mexico. And try and make peace with the new Spain. Something like that. Try not to make this an overall total war. And I'll take everything. Like. I'd like to take these regions from the French. So. If Martinique can now. Allow these well, troops to leave. Minus one. Yes they will just. They'll, they'll write a letter and be a bit grumpy. Let's just move the militia out. Any further orders? can't recruit anything. I want to recruit a sloop there ideally, but take what we can get. Embark this them on this sloop, and then send them to go and hit Dutch Guiana. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Oh no, they're all just separate units. Okay, the better option may be... Good, I can get into this port. Disembark. Move in. See if we can draw some of these chaps westward. Um, but by the looks of it, they're all fairly weak units. We've got cavalry that can chase away the natives. You've got pikemen to deal with um, anyone who gets close to our lines. We've got fire by ranks. We'll absolutely massacre them if they try anything. I'd like to take these two regions and try to see if I can make peace with the French. Um, I did talk about taking Newfoundland, which I think I will actually do because we did. I did pick that out as a target. So next turn, I'll probably send this small force to go take Newfoundland. But I don't want to use it as an example, as an opportunity to go and attack everywhere. Um, so who are we backing? We're backing the Mughals. Hmm. Hmm, okay. But I don't think there's anything I can do apart from hit and turn. Oh, yep. Yeah. Our spies on the move. There you go the United Provinces. Oh, so I need, I need to send my agent to go and kill this missionary because that will be. Not super, well, it's not super annoying, but it'll be frustrating. It would be enough for them to just. Oh, there's two of them. It's the Spanish and New Spain. We'll have to take them both out. Let's see if our rake is up to the task. Um, but yes, I didn't, cause I didn't want to make this a conquer America focused. Pirates have blockaded me in an enemy port, which is fine. Okay, you go into Hartford. Good. Spy, where'd he go? There he is. I lost sight of him in the trees. Okay, so the new Spain guy is very is, is harder to kill. Yep, so go for the Spaniard at the moment. Let's keep our guy following them, just to make sure they don't go too crazy Let's 
bring this chap out. It's good. It doesn't have a disarmy. Doesn't have a general. But I'm sure they'll probably be enough. Sell them close to Newfoundland just to see what sort of garrison they've got. Mm, that's a garrison, all right. But we've got fire by rank, so we might, yeah, gamble. But why not? Pull back. It's a sloop being recruited for garrison duty. Let's say all these two fifths to link up with this fleet in case they fancy sallying out. Works on striking Hispaniola. Yeah, they're fine now. So let's get them up and running. Let's get this army replenished and they'll be pretty much done. Then we'll have to build a new plantation here. Port's been built. Good. Three certain techs all okay. So you would ooh. Why actually let them let them come to me? Uh, no. Screw it. Let's go for it. Um, I was looking at the mortars and all. We've got cavalry. We've got excellent infantry. Just move up. We can deploy. Deploy at deploy the front of our deployment zone. Advance into their territory. Um, I think we'd be silly not to. Pretty good things. So deployment's a bit funny. There's nowhere good for my artillery except for like over here maybe. I don't know. Just set them down just to shoot to their heart's content. Deploy my line. I want to spread my cavalry out to fight against their archers. Skirmishers will advance on the left. Pikes will follow my main line. General in the centre. Bring my cavalry in to go and hit their artillery. Let's get my cavalry, other cavalry unit on the move, get my skirmishes on the move, get my pikes to come up in support. They may even hit into this unit of Hessian line. To be honest, their artillery isn't firing, so. Charge in. Sorry, just messing around with the formations for a sec. Okay, it was pointed out to me I can do. Because I've got a big habit of group separate, group separate, group separate. But if I set them as something like this, I can still. Okay, no, that's not. I've definitely done something wrong, so I'm just going to go back to... I'll mess around with it offline, um, but it seems like a good tip. So I'm forever just... setting and forgetting. Okay, send my native warrior infantry in. Send in my cavalry into the native warriors. Get my cavalry to run away, because they're about to engage a square. My skirmish is to try and snipe the general. To be honest, let's get this infantry to charge in. Let's keep my cavalry moving away from the square. Get my cavalry to go after their general. Hey, my cavalry's routed. Did I? Oh! Spikes. That'll do it. Yes, they've not got fire by rank, so they're trying. 
They're trying their hardest. Let's keep them running past the infantry. Now hit the general's bodyguard. Good. Everyone just... Just go in, I suppose. Let's turn off my artillery before it kills my general, no doubt. Hey, my cavalry came back. Smashing the rear of this Hessian line. Hey, it's snowing. Poor old Frenchies. They do have bayonets. But they've retreat they've fallen. Send them all to chase down whoever they want to chase down. Let's get the pikes engaged in this fight. Good, there goes their general. Send in the pikes to go hit the last remaining line infantry unit. Yep, they're all gone. off very well. I think that's everyone. Ah, oh, of course there's a unit of native warrior auxiliary. So manually run my cavalry around the spikes. Maybe now they're around. Charge in. All of you guys following afterwards. Yeah, I'd pack it in if I were you. Yeah, they're shattered. Good stuff. So now this region is ours, and I suspect we are going to have the armies to the southeast uh, this is where Fire by Rank will start to show its quality. For war. Good Dutch gown is ours. Can't really do any replenishing. Let's get you on a... I'm safely in port. Let's see, average yield gem pit, low yield gold mine. Yep, yeah, they've already started to move out. Which is good, because we'll be able to chew them up on the open field. Boston army that's been on the move. Sir. Good. This one's a bit this one's a bit iffy, but it's lots of regular line infantry with no artillery support. Ready. I mean I know I've only got one set of guns, but that's still enough. Good stuff. In turn. Them. That's it's demands your surrender. Nope, well then Victory. we'll be having you. So Michigan Territory is ours. So now let's try Seek. Where's Britain taking? Ooh. Let's try Retreat. See if they can retreat to a port. Good stuff. Interesting. So let's see what we do. So this was a bit of a gamble. Um, but we do have... But I think we can just put out so much damage. And we do have Cavalry. So we will need to quite actively manage the use of that artillery. Of that cavalry, sorry. But let's see. Okay, so let's pick, pick a nice bit of high ground. Deploy my line infantry like so. Cavalry stay to the side. Then just let 
auto resolve take its auto resolve auto uh, automatic fire take its course focus fire there infantry let's commit my cavalry well not commit my cavalry but bring them into the mix I'm gonna send the. Uh, let's pause, pause, pause. Cancel to shot their general if it's possible. Okay, let's. Get my infantry in because my cavalry's managed to like draw off a lot of their attacks. Actually, the native warrior auxiliary has done a good job in hitting my flanks. General was already dead. Ah, he was on this flank. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. I think the native warriors have done very well. Yeah, let's pull back. Let's make my cavalry, let's get my guns retreat. Yeah, the militia, the native warriors have done very, very well there. Yeah, that's my cavalry on. So once they've routed, Just pull everyone back. Let's pull everyone back. They're probably going to catch my guns. I was hoping, I was hoping to buy some time, but uh, I don't think they're going to be let let slip that easily. Sacrifice my cavalry to try and tie up some of their forces. Especially my guns are now snaking around. Yeah, they're absolutely done for. Like, why are you still here? I say you. No, oh, no, they, these guys routed. These guys came back, I suppose. Nope, that was a good. That was a good, uh, good move by the AI actually moving the native auxiliary up on the flanks. And um, that was pretty well done, I must admit. Yeah, that was a pretty bad defeat. Uh, I'm quite impressed by the AI. I should have used my cavalry better. Gathering supplies. Although they're not... Okay. If they're going to let us replenish, then I I will. Or do I use the... Or do I, I think the safest option is to try and get them off the island. To get them back from Newfoundland. That's the, the best option, I think. I suppose it depends if I can make it past the capital. Can I... I was thinking, can I retreat them to the west? No, I think the best thing to do is to... The best thing to do is... Louisiana's declare war on us. Fine. Bring in the Allies. So they are now going to be at war with the Iroquois and the Cherokee. So while they may send a stack to come attack us at Michigan... Uh, they have a hell of a lot of guys coming their way. Go on, Cherokee. Screw them up. Screw them up big time. So, I think the best move is to try and pull... Pull the army of Newfoundland there back. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Yep, don't worry about the plantation yet. So the army in Newfoundland. It's a pretty big distance away. Oh, the 
can't Lord. actually Sorry, sir. escape. In which case, then, I think I might... Because they're not going to win against that force, because those native warriors or auxiliary doing, are going to do a really good job. Uh, so... Because, yeah, they can't get close enough. Your Majesty. These guys can't move without entering the city zone. Too much. If I'm going to disband them, which is what I'm thinking about doing, I may as well try and do this. Immediately. Yeah, it's trick and attack. Let's just auto it. See what happens. Get yeah. To be honest, I was probably I was looking at disbanding them because I couldn't escape. So I may as well just do that. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, that. Disband the militia. Ships orders. So what are you recruiting? Still all fifths, privateers. Uh, where's my... There he is. Pow! Oh. Execute him? It's in my own land. So they've got lots of native troops. So, Noel Croft, you may seek... support from... Uh, from close to home or do I just pull them out do I just do something like this what? Anything more? you require you will you still be okay with that well, we're allies indefinite military access yeah so I pull them out let Louisiana take Detroit then move up with a slightly stronger army to come and knock them out I think that would be a good idea. Based on the experiences of last time, what happens if you go in unprepared? Um, everything that can be spent has been spent. You're all punishing, you're being scamps, but that's okay. Gives me more time to build up my strength. Good. Two key techs are going to be developed. Britain's going to be. I think Britain has just taken Brussels based on the map. Colour change. I think Britain's taken Brussels. Which means they're right on the front against France. Good old Britain. Fist bump. Everything else I think is falling out relatively predictably. Yep, there come their forces. Yeah, it was inevitable. So just let them have it. Because we've not, sp we've not spent any money beyond repairing it. So hopefully Louisiana will spend some of their own cash and our forces remain intact. The Iroquois look like they might go and rebel and just generally be a bit sneaky. Whereas what we will intend to do is to just let them, let them carry on. Let's, we'll gather our forces and then we'll go back and take them. So I'm, I'd be happy to take Michigan and then if I took Upper and Lower Louisiana I'd probably give them to the Cherokee because why not? There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yep, fair enough. Select the type of... Okay, because you've got the next level. Lord. So the immediate thing to do first is... See, Boston. This is this is a port of services here. So ideally, I'd like. See, it's not New Haven. It's Providence. I would like to have developed. But let's grow that port because that's a strategic decision. And let's also grow this dockyard to get to get best, better classes of ships. Yeah, we start to get, unlock fourth rates, which is also a strategic investment. And let's go down here and repair this dockyard and whatever pennies we have left well, you're all replenished upgrade this gem pit good so we've got nine grand coming in so let's have a look in europe yep britain's taken brussels awesome so who are they at war with now Louisiana, France, Pirates, Spain, Barbary States, Poland, Marathas. Well, Britain might take Paris, <laughs> which would be good. The Ottomans, the Ot do the Ottomans own 
No, they didn't own it. Own Esfahan. They invaded it. They've captured it. The Ottomans and the Persians at war. Yep, yeah, sure are. Cool. So maybe the Ottomans might push eastwards. Because they're also at war with the Mughal Empire. So they've got incentive to capture these two territories. And then you've got a whole border that's open. Interesting. And we are trading with the Ottomans. Good. It's got two tech advances. So. Harford start to go for some of the easier um, industrial techs. So right now we don't have any we don't have any industrial towns to research industrial techs. So go for the farms because we've got lots of farms. Charlotte continue with continue with researching naval upgrades. We'll get one naval upgrade then we'll go on to social contract. Santa Domingo's has uh, got roads. So let's embark the force here. Send them on to hit Cuba. Let's take this small navy and blockade the port just in case they fancy moving. But then Cuba will be ours with its bountiful, bountiful resources. Awesome. So here's some reinforcements for my army moving against the Michigan territories. Because they got lots of native troops, so cavalry is a good investment to get. Okay, so end turn. Britain clearing the trade lanes. Look at the United Provinces clearing the way. Although they're clearing the pirates away from French territories. I don't like that. Hmm. I wonder if... Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, that new Spain navy, that'll do it. Sorry Homer, you're on your own. Yeah, we've still got one ship. <laughs> They're probably going to chase us down, which if they do, that's grand. <laughs> no, they won't. We booked it. So we have no way to deal with those priests, so we're going to have to keep our missionary heading north with them. Wherever they intend on going, I don't know. But we do need to kill them. But we don't have enough towns. So we don't we don't have any happiness buildings to spawn rakes to kill them. That's that's the problem. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being explored. Yeah, so you can get a mine, can you deep gen? This stupid black screen issue, it's really getting on my nerves. So you yes. follow them north, because they probably... Yeah, it's starting to turn everyone a little bit Catholic. Okie dokie, so... Hispaniola. Let's repair the port. Step one. Let's get... So it's sugar and coffee. What makes the most money? Sugar and coffee. Uh, coffee, just a little bit. So let's get coffee. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got some roads being upgraded, so we need to selectively, not so, not roads, farms. We need to selectively upgrade these in areas we want towns to grow quicker. So you have two towns that would be good to develop. Got one. Quebec has. One, I can see. Trois-Rivières. Montreal has two, I think. There's one there. One there. No, 61. One in Montreal. And a 
good. Two in Boston, because another building, which would be a happiness building to offset the college and the port, would be very, very good. Then, yeah, you. Let's keep Hartford going on the um, ecological techs. Um. Well, maybe strand to four field crop rotation because it's not it's not money I'm looking for or increased chances of famines. It, it's pure pop growth from farms that I need. So I think that's a good idea. Okie dokie. So then this army here can head east. Think of my water. That. Just push them back. Push them back, and then we can move on to siege them and replenish whoever we can replenish and then get ready to build a logging camp cool factory master good so how are our ministers doing let's try punting you out oh yes giles gibbons this is the guy we need great we have a uh, we're at yeah, go on then. Let us attack. So then it would be... So I was talking about wanting to try and make Spain. But Spain is where I want to... Spain would be it would be where I would be interested to attack. Or do I just go straight for France? Go for Paris. Go for Broke. Support, support my British... I think that's probably the way to do it. Ooh, this is a, not a very good hill battle, fort battle. Probably something like this. Marines, grenadiers, a bunch of line infantry. Let's get some two Hessian line and two scouts. Move up to hit the breach. General cavalry sit behind and everyone will have a grand old time. Let's speed up time. My assault forces are going to get some damage. Well, actually, they're being they're being hit by mortars. So I'm probably going to actually just have them. Just move up in general because they haven't really got much of a choice. So speed up time a little bit. Targets, Hessian line, grenadiers, Hessian line, marines, Hessian line, one Hessian line to, to capture the gatehouse. These guys waiting. I think I'll speed up time a little bit more. Move up my cavalry because when the hole's breached, I'm going to. Well, I was going to sprint some cavalry in. Okay, here we go. See, this is why you have good tried troops. Not the scoundrels that I usually have fighting me. These are solid men. Men that are used to boarding troop boarding ships. Just run my ranges up ready to or to garrison the walls and just get my infantry and cavalry to move up as well. And there you go, this Hessian line is gonna have a bit of a tough time with it. So the bulk of our effort is gonna be over here. Capture the walls. 
touch the gate. Pull inside. Come around, dude. You want to get there and kill people? That's what you want to do. Poor old Hessian line. You're going to be in a. Well, you're definitely going to be in a tough old time if you don't have a constant stream of guys climbing up the climbing up the steps. Send in my infantry to be get up to no good. They all seem so bad at climbing walls. Don't fight well off for this infantry unit because they're going to be who ends up capping the point. There we go. Here come my marines. Straight into this unit of garrison militia. These guys charge straight. Actually, no. no. You charge straight through. Let's get one of the you guys in here. You charge up these steps and help help clear out this area for this Hessian line infantry unit that's about to be utterly destroyed. If you can work out how to get up here, that is. Uh, let's get my get my cavalry to take care of it. Good. Charge up there. There's about 50 odd 46 guys. It's a handful of the wall that feel like they're going to be completely nutty left to the dogs. They don't know anyone that's coming to help them. But as they see over the fire step. Bayonets come into view. Not enough. Turn the fight well off for them. Still failures to climb the walls. Not having any of it. Ooh, firewall on, off. In not many minutes, though, it's going to be the end of the battle, so I might just speed up time. Because not many things can happen. Like these Spaniards on the step. These are the, these guys are the only guys that can do any do anything different. But that's a good victory for us. We've captured, which is lots of tradable goods. Which is very useful for us. Waiting for your orders. So I think it, probably, it might be an interesting idea to actually move on Paris. Because it, it does fit in with our overall objective to support Britain in her foreign policy aims. And to be honest, I'm quite pleased with how it looks like Poland is managing to survive, because usually they're really, really quite vulnerable, because they're usually being attacked from... Okay, looks like the Louisianans are actually moving on the Cherokee. Okay, where are they going? Hmm. Good. Cherokee have messed them up. It's tempting just to move my guys back in. <laughs> and just quickly take... And just quickly take uh, Michigan Territory back. 
Oh, damn pirates. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export Buccaneers. capacity, improving income through international trade. Buccaneers are still cheaper. Can I move you guys out of the city? Yep. Go hit. This guy. Let's repair this. Build basic roads. Get farms going. So how many plantations do you actually have? Two, two tobacco plantations. That's not bad. But next turn it'll be important we upgrade this port because in the end it will it's it's limited by roads and ports by how much goods you can actually get out. My lord. <laughs> My lord. Demand surrender. Um, I might actually build out my forces a little bit more. Cool. End turn. I'm pretty sure, because this recording's cut out on me twice, I'm probably over the limit by now. But we'll see what happens at the end of this turn, and then, then we'll make the call. So if I'm not going to attack f Spain, it's tempting to make peace with them now. Or attempt to. If it is going to be Paris, I attack. Which I think it is. So I might want to start preparing that army now. Because always a careful balance. If you could you could always spend the money on You could always spend the money on things that Oh, see, stupid I do hate it when their priests run riot. Uh, but it never causes massive problems. When it's religion, it never caused a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm probably going to want to start building that army up now. Oh, lost Britain's lost Brussels. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah, they did. Spain, France, but <gasps> it's France pushed them out of Brussels, but Britain's just ran around a different way, and they're laying siege to Paris. Interesting. Let's build the Naval Academy. I, I can't. I cannot stop them. I can just follow them and just get rid of their poison. Uh, let's get. Let's just upgrade the farms to try and make. Our cities develop towns a bit faster because that's quite a big. Don't know what. Don't know what's doing it. But it's getting super annoying. I'm going to fix it right now. Um, so that's pretty much all our farms that have been. Most of our farms that have been built. Let's get this guy up to the port. Kick them out. Off you go. Fix it. Let's get Andrew Hamilton to knock out Jacinto Vargas. Um, I think I'll actually fight this, but looking at the timer, well, for me the timer is 34 seconds because the recording stopped. Um, but assuming things have gone, assuming I've sort of played to the right sort of time limits, uh, that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the 13 colonies. Cheers, guys.